Good day to you all. My name is Josh, and I'm a human. Hi, Josh. <laughs> so a while back, I made a video. This was way, way back, actually. Maybe even about a year ago. And uh, it was about psychology. And it just popped into my head just a few minutes ago because I was trying to figure out a way to convey better ways to understand people and personality traits so it can help us to get along better. And really that's the ultimate goal. Now a sociopath would use psychology to get one up on people. In, or, in other words, to use people's personalities against them. And uh, for example, the mother complex or the father complex. You can tell by people's behavior sometimes that <clears throat> they were raised by a single parent or let's say that they were, you know, uh, wronged or cheated on in the past just by the little things that they are wary of. Now this isn't always true. I'm not saying that there's a definite answer. That's the problem with psychology. And uh, that's why I wanted to make this video was to say, because psychology is kind of a joke. Like whenever somebody starts talking about another person's personality, I saw this on Family Guy the other day and uh, the daughter was talking about, or it was American Dad, the daughter Haley was talking about somebody's personality and the other guy looks at her and goes, how's that Psych 101 class working for you? She goes, good. I've only been there a week and I already know everything about people. And that was a little, little bit of sarcasm to kind of supplement the reality of it, which is that a lot of people go to college to take a psychology class and then they walk out thinking they know everything about everyone. Now I took a psychology course by myself. I do home study and I'll use textbooks and stuff. <clears throat> and I got about halfway through it and uh, realized that it's more or less BS. There's a lot to learn from it and I'm not saying it's BS in the sense that it, none of it's true. It's BS in the sense that beyond basic psychology you're not going to gain anything from it to help you because you're going to start associating people with behaviors and then the behavior will come the person and then rather than saying it's Joe or Bill or Susie will say oh they're an A, B or C personality type and we might even lose a friendship over saying well this person acts like this therefore they're untrustworthy it says right here in my book <laughs> and it's another example of how once again books can lead us down the wrong path. You know, I've had people argue with me and tell me how bad books are and how reading is useless and it doesn't, you don't gain anything from it. That's complete bullshit. Reading is important, very important, because we've developed this language and to be able to utilize it the way we do to think and to process, we learn a lot from books, fiction or nonfiction. But when you start believing everything in a book, that's when the problems come when you start taking everything verbatim. And this isn't just like a book like the Bible is a good example. You can't take the Bible literally word for word and expect, even if you do, you can't expect to understand what they mean by it. It's too much symbolism. In any other book, textbook, psychology book, anything, it's all the same. You can only take so much away from it and the rest of it you kind of have to say, oh, that fits or doesn't fit sometimes. But, <clears throat> Reading only gets you so far. Reading is a supplement to life. I see reading a book as a way to learn something new to be aware of and then to go out in the world and to observe it. And um, in that sense, college kids really get an attitude, chip on their shoulders sometimes. And it's always the old joke, the old college try, the old college this, college that. Kids that are in college, especially ones that are taking, you know, very, um, I guess, quote, important jobs in society that spend a long time in college and have to take a lot of courses, tend to kind of think they have one up on the world a lot of the time. It's because they're still young, too young to be humble, but they're old enough to have the education. So a college kid who has, a, who's very wise in subjects of life and psychology and whatnot, might be much wiser than their parent or an adult, you know, that's say twice their age, 
but they're missing, so they, they kind of get this cocky attitude that, well, I'm smarter and parents are just dumb and the older generation has just failed and they're stupid. And that's just not the way it is. The older generation has many stigmas that are attached to it from, you know, that they brought forward, but no matter how programmed you are, even as an adult, you can still find a way out. And uh, I think a lot of adults, what I'm saying, have moved past the little jokes of, ooh, I know this and I know that, and I know psychology. And they've already lived through that part of their life and realized that they were wrong a lot of the time. And they made mistakes, and so they've humbled themselves. So they appear stupid or they appear uneducated, but the reality is that they are vastly superior in living life. Because it's not about what you know at all. And that's the key here. It has nothing to do with what you know because you can only know what you think you know or what's been taught to you or what you've seen you're trusting your senses or your mind but it's what you it's what you don't know I guess that really um, that really gets some people they want to know more but it's not what you know it's how you apply it to life how does it help you with life you know if you're taking a course in something in, in school how is that going to assist you if it's just making money, then so be it. But I would expect any course in college to teach a little bit about life. I feel really sorry for people who, not sorry, but I feel bad for folks who think that attaining a degree in finance is going to make them happy because they'll be able to be a banker or they'll be able to have more money. A person who's taking a, merely a class in, say, um, theoretics or uh, something that's of a lesser degree, maybe, I think that a good one would be philosophy, you know. The guy who's taking finance college courses and the guy who's taking philosophy, the finance guy is going to laugh at the guy in philosophy. What are you going to do with that? How are you going to use that knowledge in your life? You're not going to be able to get a job being a philosopher. You can only teach philosophy. But in the end, that philosopher is going to have a better life because he's going to understand how to process the things that happen. Whereas the financier, he's gonna, all he's gonna know about is money and how to deal with money. So if the economy collapses, who's left standing? It's the philosopher, because there's nothing to do with economics if your life has been based on learning about money, things that don't exist, then um, it's really easy to lose that. It's, it's hard. I'm not going to say that there are useless jobs, but there are a lot of useless jobs that just perpetuate the mistakes we've made in society. And kids who see money in big business, so they take college courses to learn big business, you know, instead of saying, wait a minute, how has this business affected the world? So um, those are just some thoughts on that and what is college, you know, what, what do you take in college, what are you going to learn from your, you know, classes and that. If you are young and you're still going to college or you're still getting ready to, you know, I urge you to really consider how these things are going to affect the rest of your life. Because the most important things I've learned have never been book smarts. you got to learn English, you got to learn math, you got to understand a little bit of everything. But being a jack of all trades is a far superior lifestyle, I think, than, uh, being a master of one, at least for me. <laughs> Guess I better get a uh, better get up off my ass and start working. I know who you are. I know all about you because I took a class about people.